let me first start out by saying don't kill the messenger but if you haven't heard the news there's lure companies making baits specifically optimized for forward-facing sonar and that's what we're going to talk about right now and if you can do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button and also watch to the end because i have a few questions i want you to answer in the comments below and just like that we have lure companies that are now making lures optimized for forward-facing sonar if you didn't hear the news berkeley last week invited a bunch of youtubers and media people i wasn't one of them out to a place to see their new forward-facing sonar optimized baits they have three of them coming out and two of them coming out in this month. And those special people got to see, feel, and take a few home and see what the future of some Berkeley baits are and how they're gonna help anglers that use forward-facing sonar. So these baits are designed, they're a new style of bait that are designed to allow the angler to take advantage of being able to see how the fish reacts to that lure in the water. Berkeley is calling them Forward facing sonar optimized, FFS optimized. They have three of them coming out. They have the Kruge, which is jerk, spelled backwards, is a upsided lip. This bait allows anglers to see the sink fall and stay in that strike zone longer. They only have one size and they have 10 colors and retail price is gonna be $14.99. The second bait is called the Finisher. This is a modern take on a small hovering glide bait that looks pretty darn good. It has an erratic darting action that will hover over the bottom and allow predator fish to think it's prey and attack. They will have three sizes, they'll have 20 colors, and retail price is $8.99 to $10.99. The third one is called the Power Switch. This is a fast falling soft plastic small swim bait. You'll be able to fish this in all water columns. And they come in six sizes and 14 colors, and retail price is $9.99. Forward facing sonar is one of the hottest topics out there. There's pros to it, there's cons to it, but really it is something that is unfortunately here to stay. You might not like to hear that, and there's a lot of people that want to see it banned, but it's a tool to help anglers catch fish. Now, if it is banned in the pro series, it's still going to have a healthy dose of anglers that want to just go out and catch those big fish. And it isn't just about big fish, but honestly, if you have that on the front of your boat and you're able to find different areas where fish are hiding and you're able to see the reaction of those fish versus what the bait is doing, you're going to have that on the front of your boat, not just for tournament fishing, but if you're one of those trophy anglers that want to catch a 10 pounder or a 14 pounder or whatever it is, forward facing sonar is a great technology for pro anglers and us average Joes. But if our, the major companies are investing and creating baits that are optimized for forward-facing sonar, do you really think at any point they're going to ban it or take it away from professional anglers? And I know it's only three baits, but think about who's putting their money behind it and then think about if you really think it's going to ever be banned. Berkeley is one of the biggest sponsors out there for all the tournament, all the tournament organizers, organizations, and all the, all, all the pros. Berkeley is a monster, and if they're developing baits specifically for forward-facing sonar, there's a good chance that they know it's not going anywhere. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news on that one, because I can see where people have this they see, I see where people think it is cheating and that it isn't fair. But at the same time, I think if I was a professional angler, I would have it on my boat and I would be precise with how to use it, where to use it, and other things. And just like I mentioned in another video, the college kids were down here on Toho and it was a major, major technology that they all were using to find fish in some really ridiculous places. So who's next to the forward-facing sonar optimized baits? I think we're gonna see more people using or more people making them. Now, does it mean you're gonna go out and buy them? So here's my questions to you. First off, what do you think? Second, should companies make forward-facing sonar optimized baits? Are you gonna buy some? And last, would you buy them even if you don't have forward-facing sonar? Hmm, that's what I wanna know. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, don't shoot the messenger, please. We're all friends here, get your fish on. I will talk to you soon. Cheers.